I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to create your channel art banner for your YouTube. It's really simple to do. First, you want to download this template. Uh, it's easy to template. I put the link in the description below. And no software is needed, so you don't have to worry about getting viruses and trying to download other things. But the only thing you need to do is take this template. You want to right click and go to save as. You can save it anywhere, either on your desktop or in a folder. But once you got it saved, what you want to do, I went to a website and just typed in vacation images. And I'm going to pick out one just to show you how to do this. And once you pick one out, what you want to go is to snipping tools and just click on it. And you want to copy this image. Or whatever image you want to copy all right it could be your picture or photo and what you want to do is hit copy and then what you want to do is go to your powerpoint and as you can see i've copied this image here on my powerpoint and i got these photos that i got and i took the background out of it and it's pretty simple to do on those so what i want to do is go up here and hit picture and want to bring that template onto my PowerPoint. And you can pause this video if you would like, but then I'm gonna downsize it. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up here to home and I'm gonna go over here and click this rectangle. And I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna go over it Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and send it to the back. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna cut it. And once I cut it, I'm gonna right click again. I'm gonna go to format shape. Once I click on that, I'm gonna go up here to the right And I'm going to click on the field here and go to picture or text field. And I'm going to put clipboard. The reason I'm doing this is to make it transparent. Now, if I click on it, I could go here to the right and I could do transparent. And the reason I'm going to do transparent so I could know exactly where to fit my pictures. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these pictures and put them down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go to my other page. And I'm going to copy this image where I have the template at. And I'm going to paste it here and move my template down a little bit and I'm going to fit this to the size of the sheet then I'm going to right click on this one here and I'm going to bring it to the front and I'm going to size it also to the picture I'm going to go back up here and show you why. See, I can make it transparent. And I just want to make it enough to where I can fit my images. As you can see, I'm going to take my images. I'm going to bring them all to the front. And I want, I want to size it. As you can see, this logo right here, this dark gray, is for desktop in your mobile view so a lot of people use the mobile view as you see my hand is cut off right there so i want it right there at the edge and you can size it so once you do all of that and you can put more stuff i'm gonna go to insert i'm gonna just type some text And 
you could put any text you want. You could put any kind of designs. And the reason for this template is to make sure everything is going to fit on your screen right. Because without this template, you're going to have a problem. You're going to be doing a lot of editing all the time. So as you can see, I put work hard, play harder. Just copy that. And I'm going to just resize this image right here. So it could fit on the mobile view and the desktop view. And if you work with PowerPoint before, it, you would understand it's pretty simple to do. And I'm doing copy and pasting. So like you see right here, I got work hard, play harder. And I'm gonna just move it around and adjust everything. Once you do that, you want to right click and send that template to the back. And once you send it to the back, I'm going to make this a little larger. And I'm going to exit this format ground. And then I'm going to go back to my snipping tool. Or I'm going to open up the template first. So you right click, I'm going to go to edit on the template. I don't want to open it up, I just want to edit it. As you can see, this is the template. I'm going to just make it smaller. So then I want to go to my snipping tool. And I'm going to copy this image right here. And I'm going to right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it here on the template. And this is a PNJ template and just bring it to size. And then I'm going to go up here to file, save as. So I'm going to save it in my folder right here. I already got a folder on my desktop called channel art banner. I'm going to just name this and you can hit OK. It's not going to change the image much as you can see. No change really. So I'm going to downsize everything and I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. You go up here to the right, you click on create studio. And once you click the create studio, you go over here to the left, hit view channel. And once you view your channel, you want to go over here and go to customize channel. Then you want to go up here and hit the edit and edit channel art. Then go here and you want to select the photo from your computer. This is the one I just created and it should fit perfectly fine on your uh, YouTube. But we're going to go to the, you see all these are the different views. I'm going to go to adjust and crop. We shouldn't have to move it much. As you can see, everything looks fine. And you can adjust it if you want, but everything looks great on that. So hit select. And once you hit select right here, you're gonna see it's gonna update my channel art. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my mobile phone. So if I'm on my mobile phone, and somebody go to my channel, this is what it will look like on the mobile. All right, if this video helped, subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day.